Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amulun Shaktivel, and in this video, we're gonna see how we can do the scrolling with Selenium APM. Again, with APM, if you want to perform a scroll, there is a lot of conditions involved uh, based on Android and iOS, based on screen sizes. You know, the stuff may change. Again, there is also chance that you might use Gestures plugin. Again, that is server side change. But how how we are going to handle that? Um, within the client side right so that's very important because sometimes the gestures plugin might not be installed in your cloud providers so it is always uh, better to handle them at the client side and it's going to be very very simple as as you see here uh, we're going to find the element and scroll to the element and then click on it right it's going to scroll a maximum of 30 times by default because if, if there is an application like facebook instagram there is no end of end of the page right so we cannot keep scrolling uh, so the test might not even end so so that's the reason we have put the scroll maximum times as 30. And uh, if you want to scroll uh, down with the, with the custom times like 10 times uh, instead of 30 times, you can also do something like this. Um, you can also scroll up uh, where you can call scroll method and use scroll options class to, to, to scroll up, right? So if you don't mention that how many times, by default, it will take 30 times, right? So as simple as that, let's go to the IntelliJ and see uh, what we can do with this. So if you notice, uh, so this is the app that we are testing with. Um, and if you notice, we have to scroll all the way down here uh, to see this copyright text. It's it's very small in size, so I cannot zoom it a bit, um, but yeah, so you can, hopefully you can see it here. So I have found the element properties using Xbox for both Android and iOS. We're gonna test this test case in both Android and iOS, right? So let's go here and uh, let's say, so I have launched the app. After launching the app, what I want to do is, uh, you know, first maybe let, let me create the method here. So dollar of right copyright text, right? Um, and then so this dollar uh, find element that is coming from Serenade. Okay. So this what I want to do is scroll to dot. Uh, I want to verify whether this is present. So right. So as simple as that. Okay, everything looks good. Um, let's go here and call this. So home screen, uh, check check whether copyright product is displayed. Copyright text is present, right? As simple as that. So what I can also do is change it here. For now, the browser is Source Lab Android app provider, which means to launch the Android app, right? So let's try to run it and see what happens. So it's, it's very simple, guys. Again, if you try to do this in the APM, you have to write a lot of code. You need to test a lot of stuff, right? Um, yeah, it should start scrolling now. So first it is validating whether this is present in the screen, okay? So, and then it scrolled and then everything get passed, right? So let's do this in uh, iOS. Right? Again, you can also put configuration.browser here for simple reasons. Uh, to quickly change from Android to iOS. So let's open the simulator. So app is launched. It is taking a little bit of time to launch. Yes, trying to scroll here. Yes, and then it found the element and it got passed. So this is how simple it is, okay? But there is one caveat here, right? So, both, so I have used scroll to method. If you want to scroll up and uh, down or custom maximum uh, times, then uh, you know this page factory is not supported here. For example, we have something called as a Selenade element, okay? Element, and we have something called as Selenade APM element, okay? Okay, so this, this Selenade APM is a very new project and we are building functionalities pretty quickly. And uh, just while making this video, I realized um, in this, uh, so there is something called a Selenade APM class, right? Here, um, if you notice, we have only exposed the find element uh, using by selectors, okay? We haven't exposed the web element here so that it returns you a Selenade APM element, okay? Because the Selenade APM class is where we have defined with the methods that are very specific to uh, your mobile apps, right? 
hiding keyboard is very specific to mobile apps. It's not present in cell need project because there is no need to hide keyboard in web automation, right? And the scroll to is, is overridden, okay? So we have cell need element. We are extending the cell need element, okay? There is a scroll to method here in the web also. And we have overridden that in the cell need APM element class, right? Uh, we have we are overriding this so this is also uh, you know coming here so if you go here if you press dollar this scroll to is a overridden method so it's getting displayed uh, but if you notice the scroll method is only specifically present uh, you know with accepts apm scroll options is only present in selenid apm element okay so when we are using page factory so the ultimate thing is when you are using page factory, you cannot scroll up and down. This is just for now while I'm making this video. So I will be soon creating a PR where uh, you could also do scroll up and down by just typing this. Instead of using dollar, you can use dollar, right? Okay, so to, how to fix this now? Like there is no way? No, don't worry about it. We still have got you covered. So you can use combined by for now, uh, copyright, uh, combined by combined by and you can say combined by dot android and uh, by dot xpath and then you can put the very big xpath that we have written here uh, here Oops. i'll also add double quotes and everything should be fine so let's also put it here and then for the ios let's also copy this and IOS, I'm also putting by dot x path. Right? It's it's so big, the x path is so big. So yeah. So now once you do this, uh, instead of using this, you want to do scroll up and down, you can say um selenade apm, right? So if you use the selenade apm class, it's going to return you very specific methods related related to selenade apm. Okay. So, so all you have to do is say in APM dot uh, dollar. Now you have a by selector that is copyright combined by dot. And now you get the scroll option here, right? And then here you can use the APM scroll options dot. If you want to just scroll up, you can dot use up. If you want to use, if you want to scroll up with the swipe counts, you can also do like this, right? Uh, right, you can also do this. If you want to, do something else you want to scroll down uh, with some accounts different code you can also do this so or you can pass both of them scroll direction and the maximum swipe count so the scroll direction is scroll direction dot down and the number of times is fine so you can do something like this and then you do a static import it changes like this okay right? um, so let's try to run it this is also scroll down let's try to run it and see what's happening So this will be fixed soon, uh, people. Like uh, you know, all you have to do is selenid apm dot uh, dollar, and then you can also pass web element to it. So we will fix this soon. Okay, don't worry about it. So it's trying to scroll. Uh, yeah, and then it worked. So that's all about scrolling. You don't have to worry about touch action classes, sequence classes, all the stuff. Again, if you are interested in knowing how this scrolling works at the back end. There is something called as APM scroll to class scroll. So this is you can always go into the code and see what we have written. So uh, there is called as APM scroll to, yeah. So this is the class where we, I have written the logic. Uh, you know how we are scrolling, what now checks that we are doing, uh, whether you know if the element is displayed, how we are getting the size of the device. You know all these complex logic. You don't have to worry about it. Right, that's when um, uh, our our rap must become very powerful. Right, I'll see you guys in another great video. Until then, tada, bye bye from Mumbai.